Announcement time. I have a Discord server now. There's an invite link in the bio, so if you want to chat with me, my mods, or other people who for some reason watch my god-awful content, consider checking it out. And on to the video. One of the things I miss most about winter, besides being able to go outside without being instantly flash fried, is skiing. I'm not very good at skiing, nor do I do it very often, but there's something about hurling yourself down a mountain with wax 2x4 strapped to your feet that's just intangibly appealing. It's been about a year and a half since I've hit the slopes for reasons I'll explain later, but boy was it a blast the last time I went. Along with a group of five other families, we rented out this wooden ski lodge right at the edge of the slopes, complete with a hot tub, pool table, and non-functional central heating. But the creaky floorboards, lack of hot water, and furniture from the 1950s didn't bother any of us because we were all there for the mountain. The parents would go on hikes and occasionally do a bit of skiing to spice things up between cooking and chatting over hot chocolate. The younger kids would go together to ski down the gentler slopes, and the older kids would be an absolute nuisance to everybody by trying to hit highway speeds on skis. That year, however, the snow was awful. There hadn't been any precipitation besides rain for the weeks leading up to our trip, so there were sections of the mountain that were just dirt. They even closed down the steepest slopes because they were deemed too dangerous. But where there's a will, there's a way. So instead of sending it down double black diamonds like we normally would, a friend and I decided to go down the second steepest slopes on the mountain without turning. Now, you don't have to have a PhD in physics to see that assuming the fetal position and throwing yourself down an incredibly bumpy sheet of ice with only a light dusting of snow wasn't the smartest of ideas. But who cares when you can hit nearly 30 miles an hour? 30 might not sound like a lot if you're driving a car, but when you're on skis with nothing to protect you besides a jacket that's thinner than the toilet paper you get in public restrooms, it's pretty terrifying. And ski patrols seem to think the same thing, because after one particularly fast run where my friend almost plowed into a family and caused a 312 week abortion, we were given a stern warning not to do that again. But ski patrol are like mall cops. What are they gonna do? Take your ski pass? They'd have to catch us first, and with us consistently clocking in the mid-20 miles an hour, it was hard to see how they'd do that. It turned out, however, that our undoing would be our own. Due to the speeds we were achieving, the only way to stop was to slide nearly parallel to the ground and fervently pray that the ice below you would grant you enough traction to not plow into a lamppost at mock speed. If this didn't happen, you just have to keep going, hope that you would eventually slam into something solid enough to stop your run, but not solid enough to break your bones. As one of my friends proved that day, however, there was a third option. After failing to stop in time after she swerved to avoid hitting a family, she ran off the snow, planted her skis in the dirt, and did a front flip and a half into the waiting jaws of the forest. She was okay, but that spooked us out of any more, let's say, high-speed adventures. Now, the reason I haven't been back since is that firstly the ski resort went under, because the owner was committing tax fraud. But neglecting that, even if the ski resort had stayed open and the owner wasn't running from the IRS, we wouldn't have anywhere to stay because I got into a bit of a conflict with the real estate agent. After complaining about a non-existent smell we'd left in the lodge, she proceeded to very classily call me a racial slur, which I didn't take very kindly to and informed her that I'd gladly dent in her racist inbred head like a deflated soccer ball. For some reason, she didn't take me up on that offer. How strange. Remember to check out my Discord, my Twitch, my Instagram, and my Twitter. Links to all of them are in the video bio. If you don't mind, a like and a sub would also be greatly appreciated. We're only 32,000 subscribers behind Proton Plays Roblox, and I think that we could totally pass them by the time the next video rolls out. If we do, I'll, uh, I don't know, annex the sovereign nation state of Palau. See ya.